My name is Mike Dobson and I graduated the Hart School in 2005. Well, it's interesting. I actually started school at Florida State, uh, which was close to home and kind of an easy pick and a good music school, but it didn't fit well for me. And so I started looking at transferring and I had a former teacher who was a Hart alum and was really pushing me to check it out. And once I got there and met Ben Toth, the percussion teacher, and sort of saw how he was doing the program, I realized how much of a better approach it was for me to move forward and to, you know, kind of fill in all of the holes that I didn't know existed in my education. And luckily I found Hart and it was a great fit and graduating there really pushed me forward. Well, I think the biggest thing for young musicians to remember is that there's a huge world out there that you don't know about yet. And it's very hard at 17 to have been exposed to enough things to actually know even that I want to do musical theater or anything and really be intelligently making that choice aside from, you know, maybe you're a fan of it and you already like it and that's great to have the interest. But something about Heart, especially the percussion department, is that they expose you to all of these different types of music, all of these instruments from around the world and all of these new ideas, whether it's the avant-garde music or the folk music of Cuba, that you haven't been exposed to yet. And that really helped me shape my whole approach to everything and open my mind in so many ways from what I knew existed before. Well, I mean, it's all the camaraderie of the percussion program. It was a very intense program. We were working really hard all the time. We always had stacks of music to learn. We developed very serious bonds because of it. And, um, and all of us moving forward in our musical careers really enjoy that camaraderie still. And, you know, whether it's going and teaching at someone else's college or checking out someone's performance when they're in town, it's a really fun um, network that was created. And it all came from this very intense time in our lives. You know, we would have access to all of these instruments and all of these spaces to practice, which we can't get anywhere else. You can't have a five octave, $10,000 marimba in your house when you're a kid. And so you rely on the facilities being there and having all night access, having space dedicated to percussion, it made a big difference and it allowed us to hang all night practicing, you know, trying to get the right sound out of a conga drum or something and just kind of, you know, talking about all of our hopes and dreams and, and you know, trying to do all of the work and keep it all in check. And, and so, yeah, I mean, the all night thing, I know it's like a cliche in college, but it was very real, I think, when we were there. SpongeBob's an amazing uh, opportunity for me. It's been a, a great fit from the beginning. I got involved six years ago with the first workshop. Our director, Tina Landau, was very interested in this idea of live Foley. And SpongeBob iconically squeaks when he walks. So to incorporate that into a live show, you need someone creating the squeak for every step. And so that was sort of how it started. Can we do that? And throughout the workshops, we explored so many cool ideas of sound and and working with these incredible actors and seeing them develop and really being part of how the show progressed and the development over these six years was just an amazing opportunity. And now doing it on Broadway and arriving last December and opening and having that thrill because you really never know with Broadway if the show's gonna happen or not. And so it's been a really amazing journey. And you know, there, as the show winds down now, there's more productions in the future, and so it's really fun to think about how the show will live on after all of this work, too. I performed at the Tonys, which was the like stressful part, was getting, you know, getting ready for the performance. We did just like a Foley joke with a bunch of video of other uh, plays and musicals from the season. Well, they all asked him if he was in earnest, and he well, said he was. And... Nobody can think of nothing to say till Jim finally broke the ice himself. He said, I've been selling canned goods, and now I'm canned goods myself. <laughs> so for me, it was mostly getting ready for the performance, learning all my material, making sure I'm all set, and all of the logistics. And then the whole whirlwind of the pageantry of the event kind of came and went very quickly. But it was an incredible feeling and being surrounded by all these people and being that feeling of being part of this thing really was super special. Yeah, I mean, this whole experience of SpongeBob has been an incredibly monumental experience for me. There's so many wins that I got out of this of being able to do what is sort of a unique unknown thing on this high level of Broadway and all of this exposure. And and I, uh, my professor actually, Ben, was at the show just a couple days ago. And so being able to have that connection come full circle and have him see, you know, 
even just seeing the show, he definitely gets the direct influence of what we were doing in heart on how it's changed what I'm doing now. And so that was a very rewarding experience to have him there and kind of make all that connection come full circle. My name's Mike Dobson. I graduated from Hart in 2005, and I'm the Foley artist and percussionist on SpongeBob Broadway.